Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about current to voltage converter by using operational amplifier. Let us say if you have if you have the the current input which is 0 to 20 milliampere and how you how you going to convert this current input in the form of output as a voltage output okay so this is called current to voltage converter and it is sometimes also called 4 to 20 milliampere current loop sense amplifier if if your input is let's say 4 to 20 milliampere how you gonna get the output okay in the case of if if let's say your input is 0 to 20 milliampere how you gonna the output which is 0 to 1.8 volt and once you get voltage at your output how you gonna process this voltage signal so let us understand first how you gonna design current to voltage converter or 4 to 20 milliampere current current loop sense amplifier and how you gonna convert 4 to 20 milliampere current as a voltage output so let us understand this circuitry if you look at this circuit a very simple circuit and it has the op-amp the part number for this op-amp is LTC2063 if you look at here and uh, this is the positive terminal or non-inverting terminal of an op-amp this is inverting terminal of an op-amp and in the positive terminal if you look at you have the current source I'm gonna show you what is the the value of current what is the value of your input current and it is going to be 0 to 20 milliampere the input current is 0 to 20 milliampere and in order to measure this input current i have connected one shunt resistance okay the the r3 this is called the shunt resistance so based on your current based on the your current input let's say 0 to 20 milliampere or 4 to 20 milliampere the voltage drop across r3 across this shunt resistance the value of shunt resistance is 0 0.887 there will be some voltage drop here across r3 and based on the voltage drop we have here the virtual ground concept and the same voltage voltage uh, across r3 will appear at this node okay will appear at the voltage across r4 and this is minus terminal or inverting terminal and we have the feedback and if you look at r4 that is 10k and uh, the r value of r2 is 1 mega ohm that means the gain for the gain for non-inverting current to voltage converter is gonna be 1 plus rf divided by r1 that is 1 plus r2 divided by r4 that means 1 plus 1 mega ohm divided by 10k that is going to be 101 1 not 1 okay so based on the voltage across the r3 and if you multiply with your gain the gain of amplifier you're gonna get and once you get the output at the output terminal if you look at here across the c2 you have to connect this output with your let's say adc pin of your microcontroller or some other thing or either you can also connect the output of this op-amp to external adc adc could be 10 bit or 12 bit or so and uh, the scale of measurement is gonna be 0 to 1.8 volt and if you look at the VCC and the ground it has the three terminals the plus terminal is connected to the 3.6 volt that means that means my op-amp supply is 3.6 volt and the minus is at the ground and the same supply is connected to some other terminal this terminal as well okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna run the simulation and let's see how the output voltage and current looks like how this circuit works so straight away go at simulate and click on run button and if you see the circuit now window now go at window tile window vertically and let me show you one by one so let me show you for the first 
input current what is going to be your input current if you look at here your input current is 0 to 20 milliampere you can clearly see now let us see what is the voltage across r3 now if you look at here the voltage across r3 is from 0 to 18 millivolt okay based on the current the voltage is changing if the current is 20 milliampere your voltage is gonna be 18 millivolt what voltage you see at the inverting terminal so if i click on here the voltage at the inverting terminal is as same as the voltage at non-inverting terminal or the plus terminal due to the virtual shot or the virtual concept now you since you have the gain of 100 101 or you can also consider 100 let's see what is going to be my output for the gain of 100 what is my going to be my output okay so my for the gain of 100 my output is from 0 to 1.8 volt okay let me add one plot pin so what is your input here so your input is 0 to 18 millivolt and your output is your output is 0 to 1.8 volt now you can clearly see with this simulation is your input is let's say 0 to 20 milliampere current and at the output correspondingly you are getting the output voltage and uh, which is 0 to 1.8 volt so in the case of your input is 20 milliampere your output is going to be 1.8 volt that is how this current to voltage converter work it's very easy to simulate i'll upload this file in the google drive you can also try it very interesting circuit to simulate okay so so thanks for watching this video hope you understood the concept and uh, if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video